Ronda Rousey. Uh, when are we going to see women in the uh, UFC, man? Never. Never? Never. She was told she'd never compete. Throughout your, throughout your journey, people have loved calling you an overnight success, and I love that you talk about it in the book. You said, overnight is what they call it when no one has been paying attention to the decades of time and effort you put into perfecting a craft. I started out as six years old thinking I was going to win the Olympics in swimming yeah. and then switched to judo when I was 10 and I was like, okay, I'm going to win the Olympics <laughs> in this now. People don't even mention that I did judo anymore, which I'm a world Olympic medalist in judo. I would spend more time on that art than most people do on a PhD. And became one of the best ever. So she is a big star of the UFC, one of the biggest stars ever in the sport. Even before this, she has claimed the face of women's MMA. She opened the eyes on women's athletics, opening doors for other women to compete in this sport and other sports. To say she is popular is a severe understatement. After her UFC career, she went on to the WWE, and she also saw how the bacon was made. She despised Vince McMahon, saying in a recent interview, I didn't really give a blank what Vince thought, to be honest. I just wanted to have a great match. Sometimes I felt like instead of enabling us to have a great match, we were fighting against him in order to have a great match, adding Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, Bruce Pritchard, they can all S a D. It was her recent appearance on Reddit, however, that had many discussing her past. Recall this. Sandy Hook, it's got inside job written all over it. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. People just instinctively know that there's a lot of fraud going on. Uh, but it took me about a year with Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake. I mean, even I couldn't believe it. I knew they jumped on it, used the crisis, hyped it up. But then I did deep research, and my gosh, it just pretty much didn't happen. I mean, I've interviewed the cops and the, and, and the people that saw the feds plant the bombs in Oklahoma City. You saw them stage Fast and Furious. Folks, they staged Aurora. They staged Sandy Hook. The evidence is just overwhelming. The Newtown kids, oh. They take them, put them in our face, tell us their names, who they were. Conspiracy theorist Alex Jones spewing this garbage and then getting sued by the parents of Sandy Hook. Alex Jones' stunning admission came during a contentious cross-examination. It's 100% it's, it's, it's real. Finally conceding the Sandy Hook school shooting did happen. After years of insisting on his Infowar show, the massacre was a hoax. How could you believe any of it? And years later. CNN has learned that in private conversations, Rogers has shared wild and unhinged conspiracy theories in which he claims that the 2012 Sandy Hook shooting was not real. CNN knows of two people with whom Rogers has shared these views with uh, including CNN's Pamela Brown. In 2013, when CNN's Pamela Brown was covering the Kentucky Derby, she was introduced to Rogers. Hearing that she was a journalist at CNN, Rogers began attacking the news media for, quote, covering up important stories. Rogers then brought up the Sandy Hook shooting and said the news media was intentionally ignoring that the shooting wasn't real, that it was a government inside job. Aaron Rodgers may have been a Sandy Hook truther as well. When Pamela Brown asked Aaron Rodgers for evidence of what he was talking about, Rodgers then began sharing various theories that have been disproven numerous times by evidence. Rodgers falsely claimed to Pamela Brown that there were men in black in the woods by the school, and he asked if she thought that was odd. Brown says that she found the entire encounter disturbing. CNN has also spoken to another source who would like to remain anonymous in order to avoid harassment. They had a similar encounter with Aaron Rodgers. This person said Rodgers claimed that, quote, Sandy Hook never happened. All those children never existed. They were all actors. Now, Rogers declined CNN's request for comment. Which brings us back to Rousey. An ESPN article dated January 17, 2013, would read, Rousey tweeted an extremely interesting must-watch video, as she put it, about a government conspiracy in regard to the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting on December 14th in Newtown, Connecticut, a poorly constructed video presenting the whole thing as a stage massacre to boost anti-gun sentiment. It would be removed from YouTube. It takes imagination to conjure a wholesome tragedy like that. It 
It takes suspicious minds to help perpetuate the notion, even if Rousey later said she was only trying to present open-mindedness, which reminds us of this as well. We had witnessed 9-11, right? We had witnessed 9-11, uh, the terrorist attack um, in New York and the plane that uh, crashed in Pennsylvania and the so-called plane that crashed into the Pentagon. It's odd. There's never any evidence shown for a plane in the Pentagon. I've got a question for you. How do you get avid gun owners and people that support the Second Amendment to give up their guns and go along with anti-gun legislation? Maybe you accomplish that by performing a mass shooting. Rousey would go on to add, asking questions and doing research is more patriotic than blindly accepting what you're told. MMA junkie would have more. She at first defended her right to voice questions about the matter, only to remove the link hours later. Her manager subsequently told MMA junkie that she meant no disrespect to the victims, though it should be noted at the time. Rousey did not state whether or not she agrees with the claims in the footage, which purports that fake images and falsified records were used to create the massacre that reportedly left 20 children and six staff members dead at Sandy Hook Elementary. Chuck Mindenhall, the writer for ESPN and a resident of Newtown, would pen, I am as opposed to high horses as the next guy. But tweets like these come off as senseless. And as a transcendent historical figure in mixed martial arts, whose actions take on more intensive scrutiny as she goes along, that's not something the UFC needs. Responsibility remains an issue for some of these fighters who will become overnight celebrities. Rousey has yet to understand her own sense of bigness. She's still dealing in silly. She would, to the likely surprise of very few, believe 9-11 was an inside job, as she said on the Joe Rogan experience. Now back to that AMA. On Reddit Squared Circle, Rousey made an appearance to promote a Kickstarter for her new book. Instead, she was peppered with hundreds of questions like this. One Redditor would ask, I'd heard rumors that WWE had pitched an angle to repackage you as a pirate character, the descendant of a well-known swashbuckler. Supposedly, you shot this down. Did you deny it because your gimmick was going to be Sandy Hook? From another, much like wrestling, a lot of people now think UFC is stage. Seeing as you competed in both, can you shed some light on if they're stage? And while we're at it, can you comment on if the Sandy Hook shooting was stage? More from the Redditors, and there were hundreds of these. When you voiced Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 11, did all of your past bad decisions regarding your views about Sandy Hook being stage cause you to deliver an incredibly uninspired performance? Or was it just because you weren't right for the role to begin with? Asked another, in your graphic novel, Expecting the Unexpected, will we see something unexpected like you apologizing to or acknowledging the families of the victims of the Sandy Hook Massacre where 20 children were ruthlessly gunned down? Another would question, or at least a worthy question, via the Augusta Free Press was this, the one thing I can't figure out here, why does Ronda Rousey, who racked up career earnings from her UFC and WWE tenures estimated at $25 million, need to do a Kickstarter to publish a book? That is a very fair question. A very fair question. Lastly, from Awful Announcing. Altogether, Rousey answered questions over the course of nearly two hours, never addressing her previous posts regarding Sandy Hook. Considering the viral nature of the Ask Me Anything, it will be interesting to see if the 37-year-old, who isn't often one to bite her tongue, will ultimately comment on the matter in the near future. So here is what I would say. The first is, people are well within their right to be very upset and very ticked off that she still hasn't said anything about this. It's been 11 years, and until you address the elephant in the room, it's going to continue coming up over and over and over and over again. Why won't she just clarify? Why won't she just say, hey, I really overreacted there. My deepest sympathies and condolences to the families and the victims. It is so simple. And if someone refuses to do this, after over a decade from when they first spoke out and really cemented 
herself in the do your own research camp, it's a tell. It's a tell that she likely probably still believes this because if she didn't, she would be screaming it from the rooftops that she, I was going to say effed up, that she messed up, that she incorrectly spoke out, but she hasn't done it yet. It's a tell guys. There is a reason why she will not say that she messed up. Number one, a lot of people, especially in this day and age, just have a problem saying they're sorry. They have a problem apologizing because it is viewed as weakness when really it is the ultimate strength move. She won't do it. The second part is, and I didn't even understand this either, she has made millions of dollars. Why are you launching a Kickstarter? This is like that one actress, um, I'm blanking on her name. She launched like a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter with her son's baseball team to support them when she's made millions upon millions of dollars to do it, how much would it really cost to sponsor a little league team when you are a famous actress? Blanking on her name, y'all can Google it. Third, and I just want to get a little personal here. This past week, I have been dealing with COVID and I am sorry if I sound awful. A lot of people in the comments are like, you are boring. Why are you so low energy? It's because I am quite literally suffering. (laughs) I am suffering, but I know I have a job to do. And I know that you guys come here hoping that we keep pushing out content. I'm sorry that it's been a little less than a normal week, but now you know why. It is me. It is my family. We have been quarantining. It has been awful. So I am low energy because I have COVID. Thus, I appreciate your patience. Thank you for watching and thank you for getting us to 1 million subscribers in a very dark week. This has been the lone bright spot. So thank you very much. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports and or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.